Hello everyone, welcome to the video on cephalosporins medicinal chemistry aspects. In this video, I am going to explain about mechanism of action, cephalom nucleus and 7 amino cephalosporinic acid, stereochemistry of cephalosporins, SCR of cephalosporins, chemical degradation, classification and therapeutic uses of cephalosporin. This is my YouTube channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now, cephalosporins are broad spectrum antibiotics. In case of penicillins, penicillin G is a narrow spectrum antibiotic and ampicillin, amoxicillin are broad spectrum antibiotics. Whereas cephalosporins, all of them are broad spectrum antibiotics. And their name is derived from cephalosporum acrimonium fungal species from which cephalosporins are isolated. Now, they are widely used to treat many bacterial infections like meningitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections and sepsis. Now, when you see the mechanism of action, see the major mechanism of action is again, it disrupts peptidoglycan which is responsible for cell wall. Now, when cell wall is disrupted, cell death will occur. So, cephalosporins also acts as bactericidal agents, the agent which will kill the bacteria. Now, the major use is to treat many of the bacterial infections and it prevents surgical site infections. While the surgeries are performing, there is a chance for infection. And that kind of surgical site infections are cured by cephalosporins. <coughs> now, all the cephalosporins are semi-synthetic cephalosporins. The reason is the natural cephalosporin which is isolated from fungal species, cephalosporin C, had very poor bioavailability and it is rapidly clear. So, chemical processing resulted in the formation of 7 amylo cephalosporinic acid and all the available cephalosporins are semi-synthetic cephalosporins where there is a change in this R group attached to this amine side chain. So, uh, the spectrum stability, bioavailability, resistance to beta lactamase, everything is altered by this R group. So, all the cephalosporins are semi-synthetic one. There are no equivalent to penicillin G and V like penicillins. In case of penicillins, penicillin G and V are natural one and you don't have natural cephalosporins. All of them are semi-synthetic cephalosporins. Now, so cephalosporins are derivative of this cephalom ring. Now, when you see this cephalom ring, see the numbering starts from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm sorry, 5, 6 and 7 and 8. So, totally 8 atoms will make up this ring. And this 6th position has got a stereo center. So, first you need to talk about stereo center con conformation. Now, after that, at fifth position, you have sulfur is there, so it is called as 5 tier. The ring is called as 1 as a bicyclone. You have 4 atoms surrounding this bridge atoms. So, these are called as bridge atoms. Surroundingly, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 atoms on one side. Other side, 1, 2 atoms are there. The bridge atom is made up of only 2 atoms, hence it is called as 0. And oct, 8 atoms are involved in formation of this ring, so called it as oct. At second position, you have a double bond is there, so it is called as 2 in, and eighth position, uh, ketone is there, so own, it is called as own. So, this is the basic cephalom nucleus. But when you see 7 amylo cephalosporinic acid, the nomenclature is, see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have two stereo centers are there, 6 and 7. So, you need to talk about co conformation of stereo center. And then at third position, acetyloxymethyl group is there. This is what is acetyloxymethyl group. And at seventh position, amino group is present and eighth position, oxo group is there. See, all of them, if you, if you see them, acetyloxy, amino, oxo, they are arranged in alphabetical order. Though these two starts from A, the second alphabet gets priority and acetyloxy comes first and then amino and then oxo. The ring is 5 thia 1 as a bicyclo 4 2 o oct 2 in and at second position the functional group carboxylic acid is present. <coughs> Stereochemistry. As I have told you already, you have two stereo atoms are there at 6 and 7 position stereo carbons are there. Now there the hydrogen is in cis conformation. Whereas, at 7th position, the amino should be at beta above the plane conformation. This is what is the stereochemical aspect. See, the moment you say stereochemistry, you need to talk about asymmetric carbons. You have only two asymmetric carbons are there and the conformations are like this. Structure activity relationships. Look at them. See, the 7 beta amino group is essential. See, the 7 beta position above the plane position is essential. Now, C7 alkoxy improves activity. At C7, we have seen in 7 amino cephalosporinic acid is there is a hydrogen is there. By replacing it with alkoxy, it increases activity. Now, this atom, why 
if sulfur is there greater activity will be there see say from penicillins all of them has got sulfur atom sulfur increases activity now at sixth position alpha hydrogen is essential see here at alpha place below the plane hydrogen is required you cannot put any bigger bulkier groups than hydrogen now the side chain z you can have heterocyclic rings of 5 or 6 the five member heterocyclic ring increases activity so these are all the sar points a beta amino is essential seven alkoxy improves activity sulfur atom increases activity alpha hydrogen at six position is required the side chain five member heterocyclic ring increases activity now chemical degradation see cephalosporins in presence of acid or in presence of an esterase enzyme the side chain acetyl group is cleaved and you get desacetyl cephalosporin that means without acetyl cephalosporin now in presence of acid water molecule will be removed dehydration occurs and ring closure results in a lactone derivative lactone is cyclic ester the cyclic ester is the major product in presence of acidic ph there are other forms like in presence of acid or base or in presence of beta lactamase the beta lactam ring will get opened and it results in seven amino cephalosporoic acid derivative see this so sporoic acid means the beta lactam ring is opened the moment beta lactam ring is opened its activity is reduced so see intrinsically cephalosporins are more resistant to beta lactamase than penicillins so the effect is little bit reduced they are not very sensitive to beta lactamase enzymes but in case if they get uh, affected with this enzyme the ring opening occurs and it results in the formation of cephalosporoic acid now the antibiotic cephalosporins you have uh, <coughs> see classification is based on generations you have first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation every generation is because of improved activity in first generation you have cefazolin cefatroxyl cefalexin drugs are there in case of second generation cefaclor cefotetan cefoxetin cefproxil cefuroxine all these are there in third generation cefixime cefatoxime ceftazidime are there Fourth generation, cefepime is there and fifth generation, ceftarolin are there. So all these are uh, because of increased activity. The moment the generation is increased, the activity increases. Now, again, finally, cephalosporins, the basic uses, they are broad spectrum antibiotics. They uh, inhibit the peptoglycan formation, which in turn inhibits cell wall formation. And they are used to treat bacterial infection and to prevent surgical site infections. Side effects, they will cause opportun opportunistic infections by Clostridium difficile or Candida species. See, this Clostridium difficile are present in our in gut or large intestine. Uh, all the cephalosporins will inhibit bacterial growth, but cephalosporins could not affect Clostridium growth. So what happens is when bacterial growth is reduced, the Clostridium number increases that may cause pseudomembranous colitis kind of problem. Colitis means colon inflammation. So this is called as opportunistic infection or super infection. So this is what is the one of the major problem with cephalosporins. Now they also cause hypersensitivity. The moment you see sulfur atom, there is a chance for high hypersensitivity. Renal failure and hematological abnormalities are also seen with cephalosporins. So this is about cephalosporin medicinal chemistry aspect. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.